Hello and welcome to The Postman's Knock. Today I have a fabulous treat that is going to delight any snail mail enthusiast and it is a free printable envelope template designed by woodblock artist Katherine Watson for TPK. So I'm going to show you how to turn this template into this. You'll begin by printing out this template. Now in your print options, make sure that your printer is not fitting the graphic to the printable area. Instead, you want this to be as big as possible. So you'll just choose an option like default and then take your favorite pair of scissors and use it to cut this out. Once you've got this cut out, turn the envelope around and upside down, and then use any firm straight edge, like I'm using a piece of black cardstock, to act as resistance as you pull up on the bottom flap, and then make this bottom edge nice and firm with good pressure here. And you'll repeat this step for all of the other flaps as well. Now grab a graphite pencil and a glue stick or any glue that you prefer to use and use your pencil to draw just inside this side flap here. Now note that you can either have the side flaps on the outside or on the inside. It doesn't matter, whatever looks best to you works. I'm going to put my side flaps on the outside and then use your glue stick to add glue inside that area. and press your flaps in. And voila! As far as how you want to write your address on this envelope, that is completely up to you. I feel like this design is very sweet and elegant, so I want to put an address on there that reflects that. So I'm going to make the recipient's name nice and big. And then for the actual address, I'm going to write that in print a bit smaller. And the design is quite symmetric, so we're going to mark the center of the envelope, which is six and a quarter inches wide, so we can roughly center there. I will be using Iron Gall ink to write because this deep blue color goes well with the elegant gray of Iron Gall. But again, I encourage you to experiment and you don't have to use pointed pen calligraphy on your envelope. Just use whatever calligraphy or hand lettering style and writing utensil gels best with you. Now, once you're done, if you had pencil guidelines like I did, erase those. Then since this envelope is so beautifully decorated on the border, we don't want to fill it up with a bunch of stamps. It already has enough going on visually that we don't need to add more. So just choose a small and elegant stamp. I like these Western wear creative um, cowboy ones 
And then you can just put that in the upper right corner. And there you go. I like that these envelopes are the perfect size for sending photos. So in order to send something, you'll just make sure it's about size four by six. Tuck it in there. And then to seal, I just like to use my glue stick. If you make several of these at once, I have a lick to seal envelope glue recipe that I'll link to, but just for one, this glue stick works really well. You can shut it and voila. Now you might be wondering where to write your return address. You have a couple of options. You can either incorporate it into the design up here in the upper left corner. So I would write maybe your street address right here and then your city, state, country zip code right here. Or you can turn it around and write your address somewhere here on the back. Just make sure if you do that, your address isn't written very large because sometimes if you have a very large return address and you're here in the US, the postal machine will read this side with the return address thinking that that's the recipient's address. So just make sure that wherever you put it, it's not in a super prominent place. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I think that this is just one of the neatest things available for free on the site. So be sure to download it, which you can do by visiting the link in the video description. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.